Okay, we're on module five, lesson four. This is the second day. And so what do you remember? There's six questions here. Um, you're going to try them out, see what you can do, and then come back to it. Okay, let's look at our first one. Chen bought 20 foot chain for 36.50. What is the unit rate of price per foot? So we're doing price per foot. So price goes on top. 36.50 over 20 foot of chain. A unit rate means we need one on the bottom, so I'm going to divide by 20. To get one, divide by 20. In my calculator, I'm taking 3650 divided by 20, and I get 1.825. But we're going to say, hey, five, take that two up. So it's $1.83. Per one foot. At this rate, what would be the price of a 30 foot chain? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take 1.83, we're gonna times it by 30, and it's gonna give us 54.90 as our answer. Okay, let's look right here with Melanie. Melanie and her cousin Grace are arguing about who is the faster swimmer. Right here. How fast does Melanie swim? So I'm taking 300 meters over 5 minutes. And I'm going to take that down to 1 minute. I have to divide by 5. Divide by 5. 300 divided by 5 is 60. So Melanie can do 60 meters in 1 minute. Grace, hers is 325 meters in 5.5 minutes. We're going to get a one minute on the bottom. Divide by 5. 0.5. On the top and the bottom. So 325 divided by 5.5. Grace does 59. I'm going to round it to 59 because it's 59.0909. But that tells us the difference here. Um, Melanie goes one meter longer in a minute, so the faster swimmer is Melanie here. Let's look at question three. Jan takes nine hours to paint two desk sets. At this rate, how long will it take her to paint 15 desk sets? So nine hours. Two desks. We need to get this down to one desk so that way we can multiply it by 15. Two, to get to one, we're dividing by two and we're going to divide by two on top. Nine divided by two is 4.5. So it takes her 4.5 hours to do one desk. Then we're going to multiply this by 15. So you're going to take in your calculator 4.5 times 15 and she when I do that I get 67.5 hours so to do 15 desks it takes this long let's look at Cody Cody's aunt pays him $30 to walk her dog six times at this rate how many Times must he walk the dog in order to earn one hundred dollars. So let's solve this. So I have thirty dollars over six. We're gonna divide by six to get it down to one walk. And when I do that, I get so five dollars per walk. But we want to get a hundred dollars here. So we're going to multiply by 20. Multiply by 20. We get $20. Or 20 walks, I'm sorry. Labels are important, guys. So to get $100, 20 walks. Now, are there other ways to solve this problem? Yeah, and some of you might have done that. That does not mean your way is wrong. That just means we think differently. Jeff. can read a 300 page book in 10 hours. So 300 pages, 10 hours, 
His twin sister, Sasha, can do 350 pages in 11 hours. Who reads faster rate? So we're going to take both of these down to one hour here. This one has a 10 on the bottom, so we're going to divide by 10. Divide by 10. 300 divided by 10 is 30 pages per hour. 11 to 1, so we're dividing by 11. Divide by 11. 350 divided by 11 gives us 31.8, I'm going to go with. Now, who reads at a faster rate? It is a Sasha, because Sasha reads a little bit more than him. And Greg drove 300 miles at a constant speed in five hours. The speed limit was 70 miles per hour. Was his rate greater than the speed limit? So I'm going to do 300 miles, five hours. I'm going to get a one on the bottom. To make a five into a one, I'm going to divide by five. Going to divide by five. Our answer on the top, 300 divided by five, we get 60. Labels. I need to slow down. So 60 miles per one hour. The speed limit was 70. Was his rate greater than the speed limit? No. It was not. He was only driving 60 miles per hour. The speed limit was 70, so he was not.